So today we're gonna to create an IVR system for our company using High Level's IVR connection that they've enabled for anybody that has text messaging services in their High Level account. So stay tuned and build along with us. For anybody that doesn't understand what an IVR system is, common example is if you call like, let's say a big company and let's say you like, you're calling your bank or whatever else, the second you dial your number, it says, thank you for calling whatever bank, please press one for sales, press two for customer service, press three for this. And based on what you press, it either connects you to the person or better yet, it gives you a choice for another menu item that can lead to different choices and even some self-help sometimes. Well, IVR is exactly that. And what high levels done is they basically have given you this additional ability to do that through automations at no additional cost. So what we're going to do today is build one and actually show you that the recipe that high level has already for us, that is, we're just going to build upon and customize it the way we want it to ensure we have the best kind of overall delivery of our brand new IVR system. And now we're actually doing this live for our own CRM. So if anybody ever dials in, we can get them into the right direction so we can get them the help that they need or better yet, if it's a sale that they're interested in, get them the support that they require. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our account and we're going to go right from the left hand side. We're going to go first to check out settings and then go to phones. The one thing that you're definitely going to need is you're going to need an active number that you're going to be able to leverage in order for this to work. So the one thing you're definitely going to need is an active number and you're going to have to make sure that you have a number that's already been ATP verified and it's ready to roll. So we already have one. We're going to use this one to be the IVR because this is the main number that we have associated with this account and it's going to be the same number we're going to use for the IVR. And if you want to kind of get another number where you just want to have that one specifically for that, you can go ahead and do so too. But for instance, we're going to leverage this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our IVR system and we're going to start creating it. Now I'm going to go to automations on the left-hand side. And basically my automations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down and I created a folder called IVR because I want to make sure that anything related to the IVR, I do it separately. So then I can go back and I can manage whatever I need to. First thing I'm going to do is create a workflow by hitting the blue button. And what I am going to use is like high level has been incredibly gracious in the fact that they give you a recipe that you can leverage for your IVR program now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select and I'm going to work off of this one because honestly, it's going to cut a lot of time in order for you to do this. So first and foremost, I'm going to go over here and it goes to start IVR trigger. In here, there's a phone number and I'm going to select the phone number that is relative to this account. I recommend just doing one IVR system per number. If you're going to use a different number, then go ahead and use a different number, but then I would do a separate automation. Again, you could have it where it's coming off of both numbers, completely up to you, but I just like to separate things if you guys know kind of the way I work. The first thing is the welcome message that the caller is going to hear. So here it's, hey, welcome to Rapid Active. All right, it's gonna be a woman's voice. That's perfectly fine. You could do a man or a woman, but I'm gonna do a woman instead. Number loops is how many times should the message be repeated? By default, this is always set to one. We're gonna leave that to one. Now, notice that the first message, I can either play a message or say a message, meaning if I wanna play a message, it's a pre-recorded message. If I wanna say a message, it's gonna use the woman voice to say the message that I put in here. So whatever I write is what they're gonna say. I would just recommend don't go too long and just make sure you're spelling everything out. Like for instance, CR. I'm probably going to remove because it's going to go crim instead of CRM unless I do C space R space again M and if I do that then I'll read the letters congruently versus you know kind of trying to spell out whatever it is so be very very careful if you have an odd company name you can always play the message that you re-record versus doing the writing message on here so I'm going to go ahead and save action. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here. But more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this. And also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need. And if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. Now, right here is next step that we're going to do. Again, we're using this one just to kind of get you up and running faster is collect input from caller, right? Right? And we're going to do is say a message. So the message is going to read, press one to hear our list of services, press two to leave a voicemail, press three to talk to our team. So we're going to change this up a bit. So one, it's going to be press one for customer service, press two for technical support, press three to leave 
a voicemail for Nuno. Press four to leave a voicemail for Andy. All right, we'll make it super easy. Again, we're gonna have English, we're gonna have a woman, and then we're gonna have the number of loops again being one, but pretty simple, right? We use commas just like they have it right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and we gotta make sure that we have four. Now, whatever they respond back, if they press one, we wanna make sure that they go to the right place. Press one, remember, this is the branch. This is gonna be for customer support, okay? Press two is gonna be for technical support. Press three is gonna be for Nuno voicemail, all right? And press four, we have to add a branch because it's not in here, right? So I added another branch and then I have press four to leave Andy a voicemail. And then what we gotta do is, because we don't have that set up, but we need the input in the IVR, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit select and when I hit select, you're gonna see IVR gather and then collect input from the digits that are being dialed. Notice that it's the only dropdown. So the second I hit collect input, they only have digits. I select is, and it's going to be four. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now, as you can see, it's got different things that are going to happen, right? Now, if they select press one for customer support, I can do another list that says, here's a list of services created by our business service one, service two. So let's kind of add to that. It's unavoidable to create spidering in this one. So just understand that when you get to these different choices, you might have to like kind of branch out things even more. So just understand that this is kind of the way it's just gonna be for this one. Press one and make sure you're using the number one, not the letter, like not the lettering that I just press one for billing, press two for anything else. All right, because I don't wanna go super long. Again, it's gonna be everything else. Make sure you spell right. <laughs> this is where my dyslexia, unfortunately, is not gonna be a good thing because if I misspell anything here, that's exactly what it's gonna show afterwards. All right, now, if they have a list of services and they're pressing, I have to finish each branch at a time because now I have to then go from our if else because now, based on what they respond, right? So, and just to give you an idea, we're doing exactly this. Map callers input, and then we're gonna go from there, but it is a condition. So I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna be if else, and we're gonna label it customer support, support choices. Again, just to make it super easy. And then the first branch is gonna be billing if they press one. So again, come in here, IVR gather, collect one digits is one. All right, how cool is that? And then you put it in there. The second one is anything else. So we're just gonna hit add branch anything else or i should say everything else <laughs> everything else now i gotta go back and change and see this is again where misspelling will not be your friend if you mess this up because it is going to say exactly what you write is two all right and i'm going to go ahead and hit save and i'm going to come over here use a little hand just drag it back and forth go back to the list of services for everything else see i gotta change this for everything else okay and then if I come in here, now I have a choice. If I click on the plus sign, right, there's a couple things we can do here. One, I can send a voicemail message back. Two, I can transfer to our customer support line, which is our operations manager. Or three, I can send a text message back, however you wanna do it. But if you scroll down by hitting the little plus sign, right? Let me just do that again. I'm gonna go all the way down and just start over. Oh, let me, let me do it. Click on here. We are looking for Say place message, connect a call or record a voicemail or end call, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect a call and I would select a user, whoever this might be. Again, none of them have assigned numbers, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm gonna pick this number here, this user here, this is gonna be grayed out obviously, or you can add a custom number. So for instance, if I just legit wanted to just dial my cell phone, I come in here and I can dial my cell phone. It goes directly into the cell phone, right? And that's connect call. It's gonna immediately try to connect the call. I can try to connect the call, but what I'm also gonna do as a fail safe is I'm gonna come over here to the choices, do internal, send internal notification, select the user, or like, again, just for instance, it's gonna be SMS, I can select the particular user that I wanted to send to, because this is gonna be very specific. So I would just pick a name, doesn't matter which one it is. You have a request from the IVR for this number. Please call back right away. Boom, come in here. Contact, phone, because that's what you would have, because sometimes you might not have their name, and you go in there. But maybe for everything else, you just want them to record a message. So the first thing I'm gonna say is, please leave a message for Mary, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And just make it super simple. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the voice again. I'm gonna say, say play message. And hello, you just say, please leave a message for Mary here, okay? You're gonna hit save action. 
All right, and then I'm going to allow it to record a voicemail. Action name, record voicemail, and this is going to be for everything else support. Stop recording on key press. You know, some people do pound. I think that's like the general one. So I'm just going to put pound. Ask voice instructions if you want. You know, you can. I'm not going to do that. I mean, most people know how to record a message. And then I'm going to hit save. And then honestly, it says, where can I find the recording? Recordings can be accessed in conversations, meaning in the conversations, this is where this recording is going to be placed, right? And then I'm going to come over here and just for none, just for the sake of having always a fail safe, I'm going to copy it here. Now you see two different ways. One connects it to the person, sends an internal notification just to ensure that the person picks up. Then the second one plays a message and then leaves a recording and same thing with everything else. With the other one, just in case we do the none, just in case it doesn't happen. Now, if they press two for technical support, record the message from the caller. Please record your message. Once you've recorded the message, press the pound symbol to make it complete. Fantastic. I should have used those instructions down here, which I can literally do that. And it records the message for whatever. We're going to say 3,600 seconds. And then same thing to leave a voicemail for Nuno. I can either transfer to my line, just like you see here, but I'm going to delete it. And honestly, I'm actually just going to copy these two things, record the message from the caller for both here. So I'm going to copy all actions, boom, copy all actions here. And then please record your message because I've already said the person's name, please record your message for Nuno. Boom. Come over here. Just change it up a little bit. Again, this is all the stuff that they gave me already for Andy. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's takes care of Andy. And then goes, when no condition is matched, play this message. You haven't entered a valid input. Please listen to the options again and make a valid selection. And then all it's going to do is the same messaging in here when no conditions are matched because I didn't like these. I'm going to delete this actually because guess what it's going to do? <laughs> I'm going to come over here or actually go back to the welcome message. Copy all actions from here. Boom. Look at this. How crazy is that? And then I have a full-fledged IVR system. Ladies and gentlemen, how easy is this? Now, when somebody dials that number and you can put it on your websites and everything else, you have a fully like IVR message system that you can. Now, mind you, on top of recorded messages, I can also send a quick little text message, right? So I can come in here and say, hey, I received your message and will be with you shortly. All right, and there's other kind of caveats and cool things you can do, but this definitely opens it up. But if you want a simple thing that comes already with your voicemail options inside of here, you can easily like make this up and have it ready to go. And it took us all about 10 minutes and you have a full IVR system. Ladies and gentlemen, for some people, this costs like thousands of dollars a month and you're getting it included in your high level package. And as long as you have a text message number that you can attach to this, you have the ability of building one of these for yourselves and for your clients. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you in the next one.